have also been rumors about the team maybe moving to Montreal. Wow, they will be cold that's if they long, go there. That's a long way. Oh, from wow. From Sarasota, Manti area. Uh, we, uh, we have some changing weather in our yeah, area here we do. tonight. It's a little and especially if you're heading out the door right now, and especially if you're moving anywhere north or going north, this is going to be a rainy night for you. You can see the clouds are gathering for us as they have been all day. We've been having strong, gusty winds throughout the day as well, but we haven't seen the rain show up on radar yet. It's all about to happen, though. We do have a marine warning that was put into effect from the National Weather Service a little bit earlier. We'll get to that in a second. Increased threat of thunderstorms, though, is what we can expect over the next several hours, and some of these storms could produce severe weather, so that's something we have to be on the lookout for. Hail is possible, frequent lightning, and also those strong, gusty winds. We've been seeing them coming in out of the south and southwest throughout the day today, and you can see this is the area where we've had the roughest weather so far, and that has been well to the north of our region, but this is where we're expecting to see the marginal possibility of some thunderstorms coming on through, producing severe weather. We're talking about wind gusts of over 55 miles per hour, lightning, of course, that's something else that we're concerned with. And that watch has now expired. It expired at 645. It was a marine warning that was put into effect. And so it's just three minutes past that time frame. So this is what we're looking at right now is this is where we've had that band of rain and it's all coming on in with a cold front is producing a long line of thunderstorms right along this area that you can see. It's been holding together throughout the day, and we are looking at frequent lightning along that line. And right now, it's starting to affect the pan, uh, starting to affect the bridges, the Sunshine Skyway at this hour. And we're getting some showers that are strong right around that sun, Sunshine Skyway bridge. Anna Maria, you're starting to get affected. Holmes Beach, you'll be right there. Bradenton Beach, you'll start to see some of these heavy rains coming on through and we've got these showers that are going to be with us for quite some time as this cold front which is rather weak moves through the area then it comes back and stays with us as a stationary front it's going to be with us producing more storms and the possibility more of a showers for tomorrow morning as well we'll get rain throughout the overnight time period and then tomorrow we've got another 50% chance of rain back in the forecast, 30% chance during the latter part of the day. And so what we're expecting right now is that future radar showing those rains coming on in throughout the night. And they're just going to be with us all night long. Some of the showers will be on the lighter side. Then we're going to get some heavier rains coming on through. So it's going to be like this for the rest of tonight. And then during the morning hours tomorrow, things start to clear out. And the winds have been particularly strong throughout the day, coming in out of the southwest. And you can see them at 15, 18 miles per hour. And this is true all the way down the coastline. So that's going to be part of what we're going to be experiencing. We got up to a high of 81, despite all of the clouds 64 was the overnight low and right now you can see those temperatures still in the 80s because the rain really hasn't hit but where it is falling we're going to start to see those temperatures drop very quickly and of course as you can see for boaters tomorrow winds will be out of the northwest shifting around as that front has moved down to the south 10 knots seas two to three feet and we are expecting to see cloudy conditions for tomorrow with thunderstorms possible with a 50 percent chance of rain 69 degrees for the overnight low tonight and over the next several days we are going to be looking at a 50 percent chance of rain for tomorrow we're going to lower those chances for monday back up to a 60 percent chance on tuesday so we've got good possible rain chances and we need the rain all the way through wednesday adam